Grüezi from Switzerland. Sitting in front of a panorama of picturesque, snow-capped Swiss Alps on such a beautiful, sunny day, obviously it makes one think about the environment and how one can preserve it for future generations. Now, Mercedes is not just a car company. It's also a leading pioneer in technologies that help to, for example, cut down on fuel consumption in order to preserve the environment for future generations. Behind me, for example, you see a E220 CDI with blue efficiency designed to do exactly that. But there is a specific reason why I'm here in Switzerland today, namely to meet another pioneer who promotes sustainable ways of conserving the environment. And we're going to take a closer look at his project, namely Mike Horn's Pangea. So follow me and we'll find out a little bit more about it. I'm sitting here with Kathy Horn. Hi, Kathy. Hi, Matthew. Very nice to meet you. Um, we're here to talk about your husband, who we haven't met yet, but I understand he's not only a, uh, well, an explorer of quite extraordinary format, but he's also a very specific type of person who is fundamental to this whole P Pangea project. But why don't you fill us in a little bit about Mike? Well, yeah, he is an extraordinary person. I met Mike uh, many, many years ago in 1991, actually, and um, he kind of struck me because he was really an unusual character and he just was passionate about the outdoors and would try anything he possibly could. In Switzerland, in this beautiful country, he learned how to do the rafting, the skiing, all the water sports, and uh, he became a, a true outdoor sportsman. And ever since then, his passion developed for the outdoors, and he started getting involved with uh, adventure and exploration. Can you tell us about some of the most out there uh, expeditions that he has done, just for our audience? Well, uh, his first expedition that he did um, when we were first together was uh, six months crossing the whole um, continent of South America. In fact, he, he walked up to the Andes and then he swam down the Amazon River right to the, the, the end, to the mouth of the Amazon. After that, he did the, uh, the, the circumnavigation of the Arctic Circle, which took him actually two years and three months. Oh dear. Um, in very, very harsh climates, um, sometimes getting down to minus 50 degrees Celsius. Uh, very difficult uh, expedition, but he managed to circumnavigate navigate the a whole of uh, the Arctic Circle. Mike has also summited three Himalayan mountain peaks over 8,000 meters without oxygen. Um, that has become just a, a relatively new passion of his uh, to attempt these 8,000 meter peaks. Um, and now of course he's doing Pangaea, a four-year expedition around the world. Uh, I don't worry about Mike because he's got an amazing force and amazing mental cap capabilities as well. He has been in some tricky situations but he's always managed to get out of them. Well, I hope it continues like this because this sounds really, really, really awesome. And to all you couch potatoes out there who barely can walk to the fridge and would rather drive, yeah, listen to this. This guy is not even 50 years old. So, hey, <laughs> that's quite a feat. Well, Kathy, thank you very much. Thanks, it was a Michael. great pleasure. And, um, yeah, we'll see more of uh, the project online. So check it out. To get a little bit more insight about the Pangea project, I'm standing here with Benedict Schnippenköter, who is the creative coordinator at Mike Horn. Hi, Benedict. Thanks for taking some time out. Thank you very much for um, me. Please do explain to us a little bit more what the Pangea project is about. All right, the Pangea project is about, uh, uh, it's a, basically a pan global uh, environmental action mm -hmm. uh, project initiated by Mike Horn. It's uh, basically a four-year project and uh, Mike and the team uh, invite uh, young explorers from uh, worldwide, from all the continents of the earth. Uh, they are invited uh, to join Mike on certain positions in the world and they take part in a, a 10 to 15 day uh, expedition with Mike. You guys invite the young explorers and for a couple of days over here to Switzerland. And what exactly do you do with them? Okay, what happens is we actually invite them to get a better understanding on who they are. So we look for the mental capabilities, the physical capabilities, the uh, communication skills. And uh, Mike Horn and the team decide um, uh, which would be best to be selected to go on the expedition. 
one last question. Um, when coming up with such an expedition, obviously you want to benefit the environment. How do you think this project can help to develop the right mindset? Well, what we intend to do is, um, what, what uh, Mike uh, intends to do is to explain to the young explorers um, what's happening in terms of the environment and how these are changing, for example, in the Antarctic, all the ice melting. And it gives a better understanding on the younger generation of, uh, of the environmental change. Excellent. Well, thank you very much. Much appreciated. And we look forward to seeing a little bit more of this. And of course, we look forward to seeing the trip to the Arctic and all the adventures these guys are going to encounter.